Nairobi. Beautiful, high, and mighty. Right? But have you ever heard of the famous Kyoles lamps of Nairobi? Where crime rate, ailments, unemployment, school dropouts, and drugs are the daily norms? Kayole is my home. I was brought up in those exploring slums. A big-eyed young girl with a sibling both seated on a counter in a shop with empty shelves. Life was very simple and humble for us. Having three meals a day was anything short of a miracle. Life was unpredictable for me because I came from a very unstable home and domestic violence was the norm. Getting admitted to school was a challenge because of the many misconceptions about disabilities. In my time, I was the only learner with a disability. The society saw my disability rather than my potential. The society was making me more disabled than I was. Regardless of all that, I was determined to make it in life. There was a burning sensation inside of me to have an independent life. Poverty was a big fallback for me and I missed a few years of school but that did not hold me down. I left home very early to fend for myself. The childhood traumas followed me all through and I had to reparent myself so that I could move on. I couldn't let them hold me down. I became a teacher and made it my goal to help children with disabilities who came from such backgrounds as mine. Safe Haven was born. This is where children with disabilities felt at home, could talk freely, and no one could judge them. A safe space for them. No one believed in me, so I am believing in them. And now, I am the voice to the voiceless, a champion, advocate for disability rights, and a role model to more than a hundred children with disabilities. I am breaking every disability stereotype and making my community a better place and more inclusive place. They say, disability is not inability, right? And I say, we can't blend in when we were meant to stand out. <laughs>